हेलो एवरी वन आई होप एवरी वन इज़ डूइंग फाइन सो दिस इज़ आर फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ बिल्डिंग वेब ऐप्स विद ए आई एंड हाउ टू प्रॉपरली स्ट्रक्चर एंड बिल्ड योर ऐप विद एन एजेंटिक आई डी ई राइट नाउ टू डे वील बी बिल्डिंग अ वेरी सिंपल टू डू ऐप राइट टू डू ऐप का बैक एंड बट द थिंग इज हाउ टू प्रॉपरली स्ट्रक्चर योर डॉक्स हाउ टू प्रॉपरली आस्क योर एजेंटिक आई डी वट एवर यू आर यूजिंग एंड हाउ टू प्रॉपरली सेटअप अ टेस्ट प्लान सो दैट यू आर एबल टू you know scale your code base with time and still your llm will perform as it was performing earlier right so that is the use case and this video will be our starting video right and we'll be properly using test driven development and we'll be properly setting our project up right so first things first you should always have docs with you right you should always make docs key what you are trying to do and also ensuring your future code base should be such that you are able to add any feature how to do that so for that first and foremost doc should be project requirement doc prd right in that prd it will not be any tech heavy doc it would only be what you want to do right so problem statement is i want a to do backend which will allow any user to add which will allow user to add get delete the to do task right user should be able to check his past 7 days to dos and should be able to create any new one right now every prd every tech prd has their own you know functional requirements and non functional requirements now in functional requirements what is the first and foremost thing you want from a user is for a user is to user should be able to create a to do only in the current date like if he is you know uh, is trying to create any to do he should be able to create to do in the current date only user should be able to see or check his past 7 days to do only non functional requirement structure code well so that in future i can add any new feature now this prd should be abstract you should not go into the tech details right so i have just written structure code well so that in future i can add any new feature be noted down dot markdown okay now this file should be my rules rules to follow while writing code right use camel casing for code and file names use camel casing in general let's write that right use model view controller architecture while coding so i clearly am stating that i want my separation of logic because in future i want any feature like it should not be a hard task to add any new feature a new small feature so that's why a proper separation of logic should be there that's what i am writing in the rules and then the third thing is use spring boot and maven right use json file as of now to store any to do so this is how you will start your project with a very basic instruction wali documents because that will make sure that your uh, code is your project is properly structured with time obviously let's suppose i want to add any new feature feature 1 right so what i will do i will just make a new doc of feature 1 a detailed tech doc right now i this is our introduction of how to code and test your basic project so that's why you should always implement a normal proper docs but basic ones right so now let's go into our agent plan and execute from prd and to be like the rules right cool 
okay now it has given us some of the to do's that it will try so first things first it is setting up our project manager form right or i should say maven then it has created our main application now it has created one class to do which will be used to save to get to update or anything related to to do task now it has created a service right now if you'll go in src main a model proper model it has created to do a controller a service right so a proper structure it is following that is the thing that i have already mentioned right now it has created a controller which will be used to you know hit any api and now at the last it is creating a application properties file which is mentioning the date format and my uh, project's name right and at the end it has created a summary file which you can refer obviously like what it has created what all apis it has exposed right so that's what it has done till now now it has made some of the modifications to clean my code now it will compile using maven right make sure you have maven installed now whenever i am making any back backend of my application i have to test each and every component just after you know setting up my project or just after implementing any layer now here i have implemented my controller service layer right so i would test that layer first before moving you know further so that is what test driven development kind of test driven development is not exactly but that is how you should do you should not you know code your project a whole project and then test right so for testing you know stuff i am using test sprite there is a reason of using them because see i can write test cases using cursor or any you know agentic ide but the thing is they are you know best in their use case they have specifically made that agent for testing your ui testing your backend api testing your data testing now you can see that a whole bunch of functionalities i will show that they have validations before running test they have proper indexing that they will do before running test summary of the test cases they will generate the coverage they will give you a lot of benefits like running similar smart test groups right and you can see that ui testing is also there if you want to you know test the edge cases of your web app like who all pages are breaking if there is any missing page all these kind of things they are able to handle so after logging you will get a proper dashboard like this so test locally you can select right and quick install cursor add to cursor open cursor okay now here you have to add one api key right let me generate my api key first install now after installing it will show a green dot that all these tools of test sprites are available right and you can see that bootstrap test generate code summary right standardized prd see without building a proper context of your code base without building a proper summary of your apis writing test cases is very difficult so going you know in the cursor and doing it manually is a very difficult task and it, there is a high possibility that we will break will you know break some flow and you will not be able to undo that thing right so that's why writing a test case and then running that test case will take so much time so much credits of your uh, whatever llm you are using so let's use test sprite for that because they have specifically you know trained that uh, agent for that particular task cool so let's test my application using test sprite now i have not invoked any command i have just you know i have just wrote my you know a normal abstracted command i would say cool let's test my application using test sprite now it will be able to auto detect okay set up test sprite for running test fine run there is already one task running that's why it is not able to run any task on 8080 port now after you know running like a normal abstracted command i have not given any detail i have just said that let's test my application using test sprite call whatever tool you want it has already detected okay i have to first generate the proper you know documentation so for that my code base is backend obviously no authentication is there no username password based authentication is enabled and uh, my server is running in 
8080 port right so 8080 port is there so it is asking for product specific document prd like what is the you know summary what is the problem statement you are trying to solve with proper plain english instructions okay cool now after you know uh, clicking on okay i'll be able to see that bootstrap test is done now it is generating a code summary now this is what which makes it special that it is not relying on whole code base it is generating its own summary so that it is you know more accurate and in future it will be able to generate more context full test cases right you will see that cool code summary it has generated you can read that you know what it has to do what all response it should get from all the apis now testing these apis manually is very hard right now it is calling standardized prd right after generating you know code summary it is generating a standardized prd cool now it is calling test sprite generate backend test plan okay so let me run okay cool okay now in test sprite test you can see that it is already using its temp file it has generated prd it has used our prd it has generated a standardized prd see it has you know made this prd so comprehensive for itself so that it can be able to generate its report its test cases now i'll copy these test cases in my markdown file it has created to do with now it has generated test case now this is the detailed summary it has posted right so sample request what it has uh, you know made this is the sample request it has made right and you can see that all the test cases are passing right now before you know doing anything before implementing any new feature i'll be able to check if my whole code base is you know running my test cases properly or not you can see that the main critical functionality it has tested create to do's with current date right get all to do's get to do's from past seven days get to do by id delete and update now i am confident that i don't have to test all the apis i might have to test only one two apis and that is it right so that's how after just writing few of the features or few like a basic implementation i will test the implementation out using test sprite and then only i will proceed with my core features now in the next video i will explain you how to properly use you know context files right how to properly set up a memory bank so that even if you close your cursor today and you turn on your pc afresh tomorrow it will remember all your you know whatever you have done in in some past days right so that is also there how to make sure that your agentic ide has proper attention on your current context instead of your whole code base that is also an another part of the story that we'll explore in the next video this video was meant for setting up your project how to properly test your project before you know going further before implementing any complex feature so that's it i'll see you you know in next video where you will you know step up a whole new level of building apps using ai where you will be exploring more detailed version of docs more detailed version of memory banks how to set up them how to use them so that you can code and test your application properly see you soon bye bye